Hi, and welcome <laughs> to another Natter. But this one, we're going to be talking about ourselves rather than an external topic. So we're going to be talking about how we met, how we got engaged, and then our wedding day. How we, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's weird because I keep going blank and usually I don't go blank when I do videos. Yeah, it's difficult talking about yourself though, mm. isn't it? It's like, a, it's like a, a job interview. Mm. So, how old were we when we met? I was 35. Yeah. I've been 39. Something like that, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So I was 39, 35. Mm. You were, th no, I was younger. <laughs> what year was it? 19, no, not 19, God. Um, 2015. 15. Yeah. So, so, I would have been... 38. 38. And I would have been, so I'm five years younger, so I would have been 33. Mm. 33. Two threes. Yeah, 33. <clears throat> um, we met up for our first date, was it on the May the 8th? Or May the 9th? I get this mixed up. 9th, I think. Mm. And we met via Plenty of Fish, <laughs> which is an internet dating app. I think it's UK based, or is it international? I can't remember. I have no idea. And I'm not sure if it's still keeps i'm not sure if it's still out i was going to check before i did this video but i can't remember and i've not brought my phone mm. it's over, over somewhere in the living mm. room <coughs> yeah um and i just stopped dating someone and i was sat on sofa and it was my well no actually i went to my brothers eddie that some of you have met on my other channel and they were like you just got to get back on the horse and get back out there and we we grew up in a generation where when you dated you went on dating apps mm. um which I actually think is a good way. I know some people don't like dating apps, but I think they're a really good way when they're used properly. Yeah. With good intentions, I think they're an amazing way to meet people. Um, and so I, I reopened an account on Plenty of Fish and then I went on it. And I was sat with my niece one Sunday afternoon and she didn't like my ex-boyfriend. She thought it was a freak. <laughs> and she wanted to put him in prison. Mm, yeah, she kept wanting to put him in prison. Um, like if she won't come into the room, she'd be like that, covering her face, she wouldn't talk to him, took the mickey out of him and everything. Typical little pigtail, I wouldn't <laughs> she? Um, and I was sat with her on the sofa and I, and I was just flicking through like you do. And I went to her and I said, what do you think of this one? And she'd give a little giggle and she nodded. So I sent you a like tonight and then mm. you messaged me. Yeah, so obviously the other spectrum. So I'd gone back on it for about a month or so. Mm. And I was just getting a bit sick of it because I was at the other spectrum of dating apps where mm. they can get a bit irritating. Yeah. You meet the wrong people, that kind of stuff. Mm. And I was just about to think, right, I'm going to have a break from this mm. when Claire's light came through. And I thought, mm, I'll give it, a, you know, she, she looks amazing and yeah. uh, her, her profile, what, what you said was really interesting. Mm. So I thought, I'll tell you what, it's meant to be. I'll, I'll try it and see what happens. Mm. And uh, we talked for a bit, didn't we? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, Only about two weeks, wasn't it? Something like that. Because that's a good yeah. thing as well when people do it for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. <laughs> and just, they're just hanging you on when they're doing that. Yeah. Um, and then we met, uh, I was going to say something else then. Oh, when I went back on Plenty of Fish, I got the nudge from the universe to really look at my profile mm. and really be focused on. on cause, Sometimes you can feel a bit intimidated by saying what you actually want and you can actually come across as a bit of a dipstick. Um, and I did and it actually worked out. It was mm. like I said, this is what I want. I don't, I'm sick of game playing and all of that. Mm. Um, and it worked and we went on our first date, which was um, the White Locks in Leeds. Yes, it's a White Locks pub. Mm. Which I thought it was a nice um, pub to go to meet. Yeah. Have a few drinks and mm. have a chat. Do you want to know a spooky story? My mum used to make wedding cards, wedding invites, and she once did um, some mock ones for a shop as like a, a template. So she had to make them up as though they were for a proper genuine married couple. And she, I've told you this before, don't no. I? And this was like, in, this, was in the, <laughs> this was in the noughties. And so she had to do a name, date and everything. And she used my name and she put Claire and Gary. This was years ago. This was in the noughties. Like literally years before we'd met. Mm. And I was thinking, that's a bit of a strange couple. Claire, why have you used my name? And why have you just given me some random name? But she did. Mm. She put Claire and Gary on the invites and that was years ago. Mm. Did you reuse them? 
You know? No, she didn't. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is itching. Um, which is a weird story. Mm. But is, I yeah. used, yeah, it is. You can't make that up, can you? No, no. Because um, my dad was like, oh, you put the name Gary down because there was a lad in our street at the time that was called Gary that had a bit of a reputation. And that kind of triggered my dad because he was like, what's going on? <laughs> anyway. Um, mm. That was it. Went to White Locks, didn't we? And I got a real pang of nerves mm, I before I, it was just, and I just sat at the bus shelter and I was just, I used to date a lot. And I just, Oh, I can't go ruined. Not because of you, mm. but just, yeah. Um, and, and I didn't know where I was going. I thought I knew where I was going, but I didn't know where I was going. So White Locks is like an oldie worldie pub in Leeds City Centre. And you came to collect me, didn't you? Because I just didn't know where I was going. Yeah, yeah. So I just came out. Because it's in like a side street, so you've got to come out of the side street. And it's just off the main mm. drag. Is it Brigitte? Mm. Just off the main drag, Brigitte. Um, and... Uh, there's a few little different side streets with different mm. pubs down, so it's difficult to get confused. Yeah. So yeah, I just popped out and uh, tried to find you on Brigitte, didn't I? Mm. And I remember you coming towards me and just thinking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just something very different. Um, it was a nice date, wasn't it? It was, yeah. A few drinks, we went to, um, to a few other pubs, what, didn't we? Yeah, we went to the other ones down the, is it the Angel, mm. is it? And the, the ship, it's mm. the ship, isn't it? Yeah. I like the ship. Yeah, they are nice pubs yeah. actually. Or oh, they were. I don't know what they're like now. No, it's been it's a while, isn't it? Victorian Georgian energy, mm. isn't it? Yeah. It's like seventeen hundreds. Yeah. Maybe even older, I don't know. They're mm. in old, old, old buildings. Google them. Um so Brigitte, they like white lock ship and all of that. Yeah, they're like um, what you'd think a pre war pub mm, would be like, mm. aren't they really? Like I mean like there's rooms that on list used to visit there like Bramble mm. Bronte and they're always in those type of history books mm. of West Yorkshire. Um and then we went on a second date, didn't we? And it was a Italian restaurant. Yeah, it was the big posh Italian restaurant mm. on Greek Street. I can't remember the name of it now. No. Never been before. Some, a friend had recommended it as a nice restaurant to take somebody. So, yeah, it was very nice. And I think you started talking about cruising, didn't you? Mm. And I said I'd never been on a cruise, but I'd... We discussed going with one of my friends on a cruise, but that friendship weren't really in that space to do with that. And mm. you said, let's go on a cruise to around the Med. And at that mm. point, I the last time I'd been out of the country, I was seven years old, the first and last time I'd been mm. abroad. Uh, I'd always hold it in the UK, and I said, yeah. I remember thinking, you know, but I, I didn't even think that. It's really weird because actually to go on a cruise with someone for the first time you've been abroad can be a kind of... Did we actually decide it on the second day? I mm. don't remember that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and that was in May, and then went on the cruise in September. It had been September, yeah. Mm. Um, it was Queen Victoria, and it was a Mediterranean. Um, yeah, Cunard, Queen Victoria. Mm. Mm. Yeah, um, Mediterranean, I think uh, mm. we sailed from Kikivekia, didn't we? Mm. Um, which is the port for Rome. Mm. So we flew into Rome. Got a shuttle to Kikivekia, yeah, and got on the ship, and it was it's a weird one because it was did like seven days kind of mm. west, so towards Barcelona and all that kind of part of the Mediterranean, and then it went back to Rome, didn't mm. it? Mm. And so we had a day in Rome, so we managed to do the Roman mm. stuff, didn't we? And then it did the South stuff and around, and we actually disembarked in Venice, mm. and we flew home from Venice. Mm. Um, so it was it was a lovely cruise. Yeah, it, um, it, it was magical, wasn't it? Mm, some lovely places. Um, it was Kotar we went to, wasn't it, in um, mm. Croatia? It's Croatia, I think it is, isn't it? Um, that was lovely. And obviously Venice is lovely. Uh, went to Barcelona, didn't we? Yeah. Monte Carlo. Yeah. Um, Corsica. Corsica, yeah. Um, and... Rome. I oh, went to Pisa as well, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. We had to go on the bus, didn't we? Because there was mm. a train strike. Mm. Um, it was nice, wasn't it? I don't know. Mm. 2015, that debate, it just, the world seemed, I don't know, calmer. Mm. It was just a nice, I don't know what the astrology was like or anything, but no. it was just a nice, and the captain was, well, it was a Commodore on that ship. Mm. It was just, 
it's just like you know we've, we've spoken about this before haven't we it's like Congdon Mall and Sandringham was the same where you get a chunk of time and it's like it's just spot on and that's what that holiday was wasn't it oh it was a lovely holiday yeah the weather was amazing and I think we just did it rain when we were in Pisa and we got trapped in Pisa I can't remember for a bit in a mm. doorway I can't remember yes we did it bucketed it down absolutely bucketed it down because we were walking back mm. on we did we decide to walk some of the way back I can't remember yeah, yeah we did Back to the bus station. Yes, we did. In Pisa. Are we? Yeah, because it, again, it, the, the, sometimes the problem with cruise, <laughs> cruises, mm. you, you end up in a port miles away from where you actually want to go. Mm. So we docked in a place called Lovano, which is probably about 45 minutes away from Pisa, or um, what's the other place called? Romeo and Juliet mm. place. I forgot what it's called. What is it called? I've forgotten. It'll come to me in a minute, and it'll probably right. Romeo and Juliet? Yeah. That's good, I can't even remember that. We didn't go. Oh, we, 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 we there's two. There's two places you can go when you get off at Lavana. You can either go to Pisa, or you can go to... Mm. And it's it's the one where the balcony... And, yeah, I remember. I can't remember what and it's I can't called. Remember. It's obviously a really famous Roman city. Yeah. Roman. <laughs> Italian. But... So I've been reading a Roman history book, so yeah. I've, <laughs> I've probably gone back in time. Yeah, but it was. It, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll remember what it was. Yeah, my brain's gone. Can't remember. It is what it is. No, um, it's gone. And it was just uh, lovely, wasn't it? It was a lovely, lovely cruise. Yeah. And yeah, we got to see the palace in Monaco as well, which is just <laughs> and the sail into Monaco, which is it's a sad feel to the palace, though. It's a really mm. sad. Obviously, where Princess Grace lived, mm. and we've just missed. It's not the king. Well, he is a king, but he's a prince. It's the column prince over there. Mm. And we just missed him, didn't we? We yeah. literally just missed him. Because mm. apparently he drove through the main gates. Just We like literally blinked and we missed him. Because some people that were on the cruise ship, mm. they went just after us and they saw him go through. Mm. So that's Prince Albert of Monaco. And we couldn't get in the casino because I had my shorts on. <laughs> I did ask him here. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to get in one of the most poshest co uh, casinos in the world mm. in, with my knee showing. Mm. And the uh, doorman wasn't impressed. He wasn't impressed at all, were he? No. <laughs> No, they probably never ever come across that ever. Um, but you know, the most famous people are into that kind of stuff now, anyway. So what about shorts? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, and then we went on holiday to oh, what's it called? Cornwall. Yeah, Cornwall we went to Cornwall, there, didn't we? we? In two thousand sixteen, mm. I think we went back July, didn't we? We had yeah a week, two weeks. Can't remember what we went mm. from. Can't remember. Took off a week or two weeks. Mm. A week. It was just a week. It was just yeah, a week, wasn't it? Because we went stayed in a and b in the UK. Mm. It's a drive um, for that for me. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, it was from where we well, were in Leeds. Yeah. Um, we've done a lot, haven't we? We've done mm. a lot of holidays. Mm. and We've really made most of our time. We've we've got a breaks away, and we had a break away to London as well, didn't we? Yeah, we went to that. We went on. We went National Express. As life wasn't a mess, but we went on the National yeah. Express. <laughs> if you know the song. Yeah. Um, which was an experience, I've got mm. to say. I've been at National Express loads to London. Yeah, that's mm. my first time, impossible and my last. Mm. <laughs> sure. Um, that was good because I was running to Mr Selfridge and I went to, we took me to Selfridge's for yeah, the first we went, time. Yeah, I went to Selfridge's, we got in calf. Yeah, yeah, afternoon tea. Yeah. It is an amazing place, is Selfridge's. Mm. Really fascinating place. Upstairs on the, oh. on the top of the terrace days, the terrace days. Mm. Um, but we stopped at the, behind the... MI5 buildings. Oh, yeah, we stopped near Vauxhall Bridge. I think it's the bridge <laughs> off. It's on James Bond. It's at it? James Bond. It's, it's the one where. Um, I can't remember which one it is. Is it. Um, which James Bond film is it now? I can't remember. Spectre. Spectre. I think it was Spectre where they have the big crash mm. on the bridge uh, at the end, and that's Vauxhall Bridge. Yeah, because I remember we walked mm. back down the Thames at night and went past Lambeth Castle. Catherine Howard. <laughs> this is this is this is what happens when we go to London, isn't it? I get taken away. <laughs> yeah, I, I booked a travel lodge. It weren't great. <laughs> yeah, and it was in a rough part. So we got I got a message of a friend that said, "What are you doing? Like, don't go out." People, have, somebody got shot there the night before, and he was like, "What are you playing at?" Mm. You just don't know, do you? You don't know. That's Whoops. Um, 
what other holidays did we have? Went on the Oceana that year. We went as on well. Oceana as well. Christmas, just before Christmas. So that would have been 2016. 2016. Mm. So 2015, Keown had Queen Mary, then went on the Oceana at December. Mm-hmm. Um, because that was in the year to run up to our engagement. Mm. And I think I'm, I tried to move in with you because you went to your own house in Morley, didn't you? Yeah. And I think I moved in after six months, was it? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I did it a gradual, you know, I did gradual moving in, didn't I? Because mm. I'd been at home for 500 years. <laughs> we've probably missed the engagement out then, haven't we? No, well, we're going to go into the engagement now because yeah. we moved in together. Mm. Um, I think I, I proposed to you before New Key, though, didn't I? Yeah. Would have been, wouldn't it? Oh, we got our years mixed up. I think that's what we did. We said we'd go to the UK mm. because we got engaged in the twenty, went in the twenty fifteen, engaged in twenty sixteen, and married in twenty seventeen. Mm. Oh, I can't even make it that way. They did something like that, didn't I? I just realised. I didn't propose her over a chicken dinner. <laughs> With a story I that didn't changes. Do that. I didn't do that. No, not a chicken dinner. God. Anyway, Harry, shocking. I know. Um, <coughs> Chicken dinner. I know. That story changes though, whenever. It depends on which, which day. They say on a Monday it's different to what they say on a Friday. What, roast and it beef? it really changes on a, on a weekend when they tell you it. <laughs> Was it roast beef? God knows. Um, yeah, because I remember we were, we were doing a temporary move over, wasn't I? I took gradually bringing my stuff over. Mm. And then one night I said, I just don't want to go home. <laughs> yeah. And then that was it. We mm. just, yeah, it just seemed all really natural, didn't it? It did, yeah. And I moved in and... Oh, we didn't, yeah. you didn't mention the first date, did you? What, when the first time you came to my house? What do you mean? <laughs> I'd uh, just bought some new sofas. <laughs> um, and they'd not been delivered yet. And uh, I don't know if you... It's the same experience around the world, but you can wait... Weeks. Months and months for sofas to be mm. delivered. And my old sofas, they were all right. They were in all right shape. Mm. Um the, the, the three-seater was a, could have been better, but the two-seater was okay. So I donated them, but when you're donating them, you've got to give them good notice yeah. as well. So I'd kind of got rid of my furniture, and I still had about four or five weeks before my sofas mm. were going to be delivered. <laughs> so I had no furniture. Well, I think I got my old grandma's rocking chair in the living room. Mm. <laughs> That's it. I was sat in the rocking chair watching the telly in the living room. So I like, had to come for that date in your house and you said, well, there's only one thing you'll, you'll have to just lay on bed. <laughs> because we've not got a sofa. Hmm. We'll have to have tea on, on, on bed. On yeah, bed. No, that's, that's where we stayed really for a while, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, takeaways, wine. Mm. Um, yeah, it was, it was nice, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> not planned at all. We often make a joke that you'd just chuck the sofa out just to... <laughs> um, yeah, it was. But it did come eventually, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it did. Mm. And then we went back downstairs for a bit. And then, mm. anyway. Um, we digress. Yeah. What else? The engagement. Engagement. We'd actually gone to buy a ring before, didn't we? We, see, we didn't do it traditional. We went and chose the ring and bought it from Philip Stone in Leeds. Mm. And you can, you know, apparently that was, but when we did it, that was quite a popular thing. Well, you chose your ring and then they looked after it for you until mm. you asked. Oh, I like that, actually. Yeah. So I kind of knew it was coming. So we kind of... I didn't know when. We did that in the January, didn't we? Mm-hmm. So we did that in the January because I didn't... I wasn't confident that I could get the right wing. Yeah. I've got to admit. Yeah. Not, not, not my bag at all. So it's like, why not just get her to pick it herself? Yeah, and then it goes in a vault. And then, yeah, and it goes in a vault and I keep her waiting for know, five, five months. months. You are misbehaving then for five months, aren't you? And then we went, you did it at Haworth, didn't you? I did, yes. So Do you want to describe the engagement? Scenario? Well, should we just say where we went first? So we went to Haworth, didn't mm. we? And um, I think you, you've always liked the Brontes mm. and all that kind of stuff. And you'd found Pond and Hall, or you'd always talked about Pond and yeah, Hall. Yeah, I'd, I'd found it just off... Not my phone, it's fine. Um, <laughs> I'd found it just off spec mm. and it was basically where the, the Brontes used to go and they used to stay with and, and visit the Heatons there that had a library mm. and she Emily used to stay over in this particular room and that's where she based Cathy's scene and you know where she puts her hand through the window 
And I was like, look at that, because they've got the box bed in the witches in Wuthering Heights, mm. which is up against the window. They've got the Bible on the windowsill, which was Kathy's Bible. Mm. And I was like, wow. And I didn't think anything of it then, did I? It just, no. You just get on with life. And then, and you were staying there, though, didn't I? Uh, I can't remember if you knew we were stopping there, but I don't know if you knew I booked that room. Yeah. Because it was very expensive. Mm. But I can't, remember if, I can't remember if I kept that from you that I booked that room. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I think we went to Haworth, had a day out around Haworth, didn't mm. we? And it was when they were filming to walk in, 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 invisible because they would they actually did that scene, the, the set on the moors, mm. Mr. Crag. Oh yeah, because we had to drive up there, didn't mm. we, to have a look at the uh, the set and that mm. and the built up there. We sat on a bench. I just had a feeling that something was coming. But all oh, day I got to a point where like, you left it right till the last minute, didn't you? So we went right onto the moors. You yeah. thought I was going to propose on the moors. Looking over to the Bronte didn't. scene. Not not in the plan. Wasn't in the plan. Um, so yeah, we're out on the moors, right high up. Claire's yeah. waiting for it, waiting for yeah. it, waiting for it. I could tell she was a little bit fuming that I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do it. Because I can't hide my face. <laughs> yeah, but she can't, that. she can't. Um, so, but I, I, the plan was in place, so I was not going to change the plan. Mm. Plus, I didn't have the ring with me, either. Um, where was it? Yeah, it's really car. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then we obviously checked in, and it's a, it was a lovely place. It's changed now, I changed hands, but mm. you got tea and coffee, and she had made homemade Victoria sponge. Mm. And you sat in the lounge, and there's the, the, the coal fire there. Mm. and It's very informal, wasn't it? It was mm, like stopping lovely. in somebody's yeah. house. And um, it was glassy, it was glassy, yeah. wasn't it? And the husband <laughs> gave us a lift to a nearby pub mm. so we could have a meal. Oh, so we've got all afternoon in this room, mm. and I'm like, oh, any mm. minute now. <laughs> so there's a box bed, Kathy's bed. Then I was like, well, that didn't happen. Then he gave us a lift to the to the meal to a local pub, wasn't it? Yes, uh, and we had a meal there, didn't happen there either. <laughs> <laughs> so by this time, Claire was. I could tell she was starting to get really upset, I've got a bit. And um, unbeknownst to her, I'd already spoken to the lady uh, who would run the establishment and I'd got a nice bottle of bubbly and asked her to put it on um, on, on ice for mm. us. And, and I told her, I was, you know, could, could you put it in the room ready so when we got back, I'm going to propose to Claire. This is probably actually one of the most romantic mm. rooms in the world, but in the literary world, mm. isn't it? So I'd... Um, I might have a photo of it. I might try and put it into this mm. video. I'll, I'll, I'll put a photo if I can find mm. it. Um, of the the bed. We could put a few photos actually. Yeah, the bed and it's got those. It's got open windows. Yeah, it's a it? box bed. Yeah. You know the box beds mm. they have. The mm. Victorian box. I'm talking beds. about the window. Oh it yeah. Was, it was oh little, no, it was a st deep stone window. A deep stone window, but I thought it had shut the doors. No, no, that was on the bed. They had the shutters on the bed. Did it have it on the bed? I knew. I knew it had doors of some description because mm. I, I, I while well, Claire were in the bathroom getting ready, I, I, I put the ring. Open in the window on the Bible, Kathy's Bible. On Kathy's Bible, well, mm. yeah, <laughs> it's not a cat, it's fictional. Um, <laughs> so I put the ring on the Bible in the window, mm. shut the doors, hoped nobody would come in and nick it. Um, mm. and you know, obviously, I've got the bottle of bubble and asked to, to, if you can bring it up while we're gone. Because mm. uh, you knew when we were coming back, because we had to ring up to get our husband to come and pick us back mm. up again. Um, so they did that. Um, unbeknownst to me, because I, I, I was going to keep it as a complete surprise until I said, oh, open that window. And, and, and she was going to open the window and I was going to propose. <laughs> when we got back, there was candles everywhere in the room, rose, rose petals. petals on the floor. So Claire was shocked. I was shocked because I had not planned that at all. Yeah. Champagne was out with glasses. Yeah, there. champagne was out with glasses. Claire was a bit, I didn't know what was yeah. going on. And then I said, well, You said, this. What's that noise? At the What's window, there's something tapping. And I didn't even realise you were taking the piss. And I just thought, oh, there's a ghost here. Let, let, come on then, let's have a laugh. This is what it's like living with Claire. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I was trying to tap something. I said, go, go, go and have a look at the window. Go and have a look at the so window. So I'm like, oh, you know, so, she's climbing over at bed. <laughs> started to get a bit fuming again because she thought I was taking the mickey. And then, obviously, she saw the ring and when she turned around, I was down on one yeah. knee. And asked you to marry me. Good, wasn't it? Yeah. There you go. Do you like that? Yeah, it's all right, wasn't it? Yeah, and then we, we 
we got married. So it was the 2016 into the tw no, May 2016, because it was round about an anniversary, one year. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it was it was round about the 9th of May. Mm. I think it was the 8th of May. Mm. It's just obviously, uh, we went out on that weekend, didn't we? So mm. it was a Saturday after, a year after, so it was mm. one day behind, basically. So it was kind of there, yeah. Yeah. And then... Then we went on those holidays, we went to Newquay, we went on the Oceana, and we did like a... Oh, it's like an mm. uh, Atlantic coast European mm. cruise. So it's, um, what was it? Lisbon and about a Bilbao. And mm. um, I think, did we get round to Barcelona? We did not get that far. Yeah, we went to Barcelona, yeah. We went to Barcelona mm. again. Mm. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Cause I can't, yeah, we, did, we went about, about round to round to Barcelona, didn't we? Sure, we did. Yeah, I think we did, because I think we no, went. That was the one we went to Barcelona. I thought we, we um, the Victoria stopped at Barcelona because it had a day a night over. Can you remember we, mm. we actually yeah, it, did. it parted yeah. in the night, mm. so we had two days in Barcelona mm. on the Victoria. Um, but I don't think we went to the big cathedral, did we? The it was rammed. It was rammed, and I think we, we, we maybe had another. I think we went on the bus, didn't we? When mm. we went, um, yeah, but the bus, it was just like it just went on forever. That didn't it? Don't go on the tour bus. It goes right up, oh, because the new camp's right outside the city centre, and it goes all the way to the new camp, which mm. I think they're rebuilding it now, so it might be a bit more spectacular, but when mm. you get there, it's a bit of a concrete monstrosity mm. uh, on the outside. I think it's amazing inside, but we didn't go in it. Mm. Um, so you go all the way out there and then come all the way back, and it takes forever, the mm. traffic's appalling. Um, so we did that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. uh, we went to Gibraltar. Yeah. Went to see the monkeys. I'm scared up there, yeah, yeah. terrified. <laughs> we got we we, we did we thought it was also all limping all over the place. Well we, we just got off, didn't we? And uh, look we have it. Uh, there was a guy offering bus tours, mm. um, like private bus tours, because we'd not booked a tour mm. or anything, had we? We just thought so it worst case scenario, we'll just go in town and have a look around shops because it's it's Gibraltar, it's a British mm. kind of colony kind of place and it's mm. all British shops and stuff. So we thought, worst case scenario, just have a wander out shops and get back on ship. But this guy was saying, oh, well, I'll take you around, but it'll cost this much. If we can get some more people on, then you'll be able to, you know, it'll be like 100 quid each or something like that. I said, all right, fair enough. Mm. And it, it took him ages to try and find somebody. And eventually he managed to get the uh, the dance, the, it, was it the singing group? There was a singing group. Yeah, on the ship, and they joined us. Yeah, the, the, they? The, yeah the, 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 the two, it was, it was like books for his almost, weren't yeah. they? So it was like two women and two lads mm. or something like mm. that. Uh, and they were like the, the entertainers on ship, weren't mm, they? Mm. Uh, so we ended up going on a, a tour around Gibraltar with them. So we went, you know, to Crystal, like a big crystal cave. Mm. We went to the World War bunkers that are built mm. into the um, into the rock. Um, and then we uh, we met the monkeys, the Barbary the, Apes. The brickier or the monkeys? <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that this little baby one. Yeah. I was like, get away. Um, <laughs> the cute, though. The cute, what? They do brick people, don't they? Yeah, be loads of brick people and, and jump on you. Like, you're not going to wear a backpack because they'll jump on your backpack. Yeah, you don't. You don't you, they'll, mm. they'll be in everything. They'll, they, if you leave car door open, they'll be in car. Mm. Um, cute little fellas. But, mm. but amazing view. Absolutely mm. amazing, amazing view. Right across to Africa. It's a really good one yeah. there. Um, yeah, it's a nice day out, that. Mm. From nothing as well, we, we just let luck take us on that day mm. and it was really good. And then we were supposed to get to Casablanca, weren't we? Yeah, we, but we didn't. It, the ship wouldn't get in. Apparently the port has a a low mm. floor, well, up the seabed or something, mm. and the sea was up and down like that and mm. it just couldn't get in because it was just moving too much. So we sacked it off and we had a day at sea. Mm. Enjoyed that. Yeah. Back from the storm for over the beer biscuit. Yeah, that rocking. But you couldn't stand up with it really, it was just crazy, wasn't it? Yeah. Not as um, bad as uh, Queen Mary though, but uh, <laughs> that's oh, another yes. story, oh, we'll that's, get that's to that one. Moved. So the wedding. We opted for a traditional wedding, didn't we? Yes. We got married in a church, um St James's St. St. James's Manston in Cross Gates. Mm -hmm. And we get we had a party a Garforth's Working Men Club. Garforth Working Men Club in yeah. Leeds. It was really good, wasn't it? We got the club dressed up. Yeah, it was perfect. Banners, 50, 50 quid for the venue. Can't yeah. go wrong. And we got that back because we yeah. didn't trash it. Yeah. <laughs> and we got a, you know, we got family in that, that we, we mm. collected the, the 
I don't know, decorations and mm. found me that morning went up and decorated it. Yep. And we had a, a balloon lady that came in that did the balloons. A big banner, balloon banner, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, and like a, there, an yeah. arch, a balloon arch as well. We got, you can walk under. Yeah. Uh, big caterer that came in and did a whole host of food, different food, hot dogs, burgers, yeah. savoury sweets. There was so much sweets. left, it was ridiculous. We really I chose a great buffet. The biggest mm. buffet you've ever seen in the world was chosen. For, we just did it, didn't we? We just yeah. threw loads of money at it and just said, just do it. Well, we didn't want loads of money. Yeah, but, but it, it, we, we chose come, a big one. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you went in and mm. we'd got married at three. Mm. Oh yeah, it was. It was. They said you could. The food would be all right from mm, like five yeah. o'clock, right through to yeah. the to close. So we just put, made sure there were plenty of food there, mm. didn't we? Proper. Yeah. It was nice. Proper. Buffet. And we got a DJ, didn't we? Yeah. He was good. Uh, got photographers. Got two mm. nice cars. Mm. What were they? Princess. I got princess and. The two princesses, yeah, weren't two they? Yeah, two different star princesses, but there was yeah. also a Merc as well that turned up. Yeah, because the, the, there was supposed to be a prince and a princess. Oh, that was it, a prince and a princess. Um, and the prince broke down. Mm. So they ended up bringing two princesses, mm. and to make up for the loss of the prince, they brought another car as well, which was mm. just a bog standard, well, not bog standard, it was very nice, Mercedes. <laughs> bog standard Merc. <laughs> just bog standard, bosh Mercedes. Yeah. So, um... So I went to the church in one of the princesses. The other princess was at Claire's mm. waiting for her. Mm. Did the shepherds... Oh, they did two trips from yours, mm. didn't they? Yeah. And then I think my mum and dad went in the Mercedes yeah. rather than having two trips. So it worked out quite well. Mm. My mum made the invites because she used to make cards mm. and all the favours and stuff. Not the same invites, no. Yeah. <laughs> they were different. And then... She did all the favours as um, well, didn't she? Mm. Yeah. And... With all the white table paper tablecloths you get, mm. you know, the do wasn't it? It was lovely do. And um, the the yeah, the people at the club said to us at the end that it was the best do they've ever had there for mm. a long, long time, mm. and it was rocking. There's a good over hundred people there, mm. weren't they? Mm. And the, the the tills must have been ringing at the bar. Yeah. Um, which is how they make their money. That's why they yeah. like, you have it for nothing, really. Yeah. Um, so it was really good. Mm. Um, you know, saving money on the venue meant just so we could throw money at other areas. Yeah. Nice um, cars, nice decorations. Yeah. And a nice honeymoon. Yeah. My auntie made the flowers. I'll show her some silk flowers. Because I said I wanted silk, didn't I? Mm. So I could keep them. Um, and I got those from Country Baskets in Mor Mor Morley. Mm. So she made those for me. Mm. Um, and I think there were some of my some of the flowers from and the ribbons from when I was a bridesmaid when her children got married, so the ribbon on my bouquet came from that, mm -hmm. and some flowers, which was, I thought was a nice touch, yeah, wasn't nice, it? Yeah, um, Nice, was it, was it I, Ivory Wedding Dress I had, veil, little mm -hmm. tiara. <laughs> I, it got, I got a plain veil, mid-length veil, right? Mm -hmm. And I had little crystals put onto it, stitched onto it, because that's what Diana did. <laughs> <laughs> and a very similar tiara, but it was a because there was at the time we got married, Victoria was on, Victoria was on, mm. and it was a similar tiara to what the what was that actress called that played Victoria? I can't remember. Was she well, she had like a little diamond tiara. Summer, was it? No. I don't know. I can't remember. And I had something similar to that. Mm. It was a nice wedding dress, wasn't it? Yes, it's lovely. Um, three little flower girls, page boy, and a maid of honour. Mm. Put some, put some pictures on. Yeah, put some pictures on. Yeah. Just of us, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, um. And then, so three o'clock we got married, which I thought was a nice time, because if, if not, all day, you're just there at the venue. I think mm. sometimes people can get a little bit bored. Mm. I've been to weddings where it's a full day, and you just, by the time evening deal comes, you're like, oh. <laughs> um... Um, then we had a week, didn't we? Back at work, I think. A decorated old room as well. Oh, you did, yeah. Yes, she did. I forgot about that. Claire, Bless you. Claire loves a decorated room. Yeah. She, she loves loves a decorated mm. room. But obviously, she wasn't in the hotel the night before. So I thought, I know she likes a decorated room. I'll treat her. Yeah. Um, unbeknownst to me, I bought another bottle of bubbly. And they'd left the security tag on, hadn't they? <laughs> so it looked like I nicked it. We can put, put that video on actually, so we've got that video and put that video on at the end. Yeah, it's of not this. cracking quality, but it yeah. can do. Yeah. Um look like an egg to it. Well I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something else then. What's that? I can't remember. You moved on, I think. Yeah. 
We'd gone back to work for a week and then went on honeymoon, didn't we? Four weeks. Yeah, I think we had... Well, I went back. I was off sick, wasn't mm. I? I'd done my back in. Unbelievably. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's probably oh. the stress from getting back I was off sick as well, wasn't I? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> that was a long story. Claire Thackeray Page has all sorts on there about that. <laughs> um, yeah, because, yeah... I just got to the end of my tether with my old job mm. after years of just craziness. Mm. Um, and they kind of knew I wasn't going back. Yeah. Um, but I don't think you did go back, did you? No, I didn't go back. Because no. I said I'd know. Mm. They gave me till after the after the Hindu. And I said I'd know that last day. And I know sometimes when you come back on a holiday, you get that energy going back. But I just knew that place was dead to me then. Mm. I just knew it was there was something else out there. Um, it was four weeks, wasn't it, mm -hmm. between cruise Queen Mary 2 from Southampton to New York and up North America into Canada. Mm -hmm. And then back again. Mm -hmm. So it was four-week cruise. Yeah. It was a long cruise. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> so, and, and it's, what, six days to get across the Atlantic? Mm -hmm. So it's six days there to New York. You get there on the seventh day, the day in New York... Which we had a really good tour, mm. didn't we? Tour guide in mm. New York was amazing. Oh, yes. I wish I could remember his name because he was really good. The best tour guide I've ever mm. come across, ever on a cruise. Yeah, he was amazing. He was, and he was passionate. He wasn't just there mm. for the money. He, mm. he just, yeah. He, he was a quintessential what you'd expect yeah. out of a New Yorker. Yeah, he loved the there cities. All his life. Just loved the city. Uh, and it's what you love. It's, it's what's great about tour guides sometimes mm. when you get somebody who just loves the place where they live. Mm. And, and that's what he, he loved it he, he he lived and breathed it he knew it all didn't he mm. um, yeah it was an amazing tour that mm. right up the Rockefeller Centre didn't we yeah 9-11 uh, 9-11 all, all those zero. bits and bobs and John Lennon's flat Central oh, Park Strawberry Fields yeah. um, Jackie Kennedy's flat mm. all, we, we saw flats. everything we yeah. saw everything you could see in New York yeah it was intense wasn't it but oh yeah it was, it was a long it. day it was a long day and then we sailed in, into New York for a tropical storm. Yeah. Which was a quite a big one at the time, I think. He went, he was a bit of a captain. Yeah, he, 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 he? Yeah, he was a bit of a risk taker. Yeah, he just seemed to, I know, I'll just I'll just go faster. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a horrible, and apparently it smashed the front windows of the ship, mm. and the ship had listed, so all the stuff from people's showers went to that end of the... You couldn't even stand up on the ship, could you? No, it was it was sailing sideways. Mm. The ship that they'd, they'd, they'd got some water in somewhere, and it mm. it unbalanced itself or something in the storm. It was just after Titanic. Yeah, yeah, we just it was just starting to brook because just as we we're going past where Titanic was, it the, the weather turned mm. into. But we, you could go out on deck, and it it was red hot. It yeah. was it was blowing a gale. And, yeah. But it was warm. It was it was eerie, wasn't mm. it? But the, the Titanic the area. The mm. Titanic area was like. And other people have actually said to me since mm. that when they've gone over it, it's like a mill pond probably mm. around there. It's the weirdest energy. What the most surreal mm. and peaceful, mm. but haunting mm. around Titanic, isn't it? Mm. And the stars in the sky. It was just even now gives me chills. Mm. Um, but after once we'd got over that, you could actually hear the the ship. You could hear it and feel the ship coming up and on the propellers, couldn't you? Mm. It was. Oh, it was. It was a bad storm, that. Mm. I'm sure it was. A, I could Google it. I'm sure it was that storm, Horace. Mm -mm. It rings a bell. Yeah. Twenty seventeen. It was the tail end of a really bad hurricane, I think, that they had mm. uh, in America, uh, and we kind of got it, got the tropical version of it as it was dying out. Mm. Uh, it was pretty bad because after New York we were supposed to go to um, Rhode Island weren't mm. we and it was a tethered part where they get you, let, you, let you off on the um, lifeboats on the tenders mm. uh, and they wouldn't do it because it's, it was too rough so we had a day at sea uh, mm. there and then we went to Boston didn't we yeah. went to Cape Cod you booked a, a um, boat trip around Kennedy Island Highness Port mm. It's amazing that place, isn't it? Oh yeah, you I it, was yeah. obsessed over the Kennedys back then, and mm. I just couldn't not get my edge around the fact that this place that I'd read about, this mm. president that I'd read about, that ev do you know? I've been to so many places in the world, and usually you get there, and it's different to what you see in the books. It, I don't know what that's all about. I think they stopped what I thought, but that 
mm. was like, holy cow, this is everything and more. It was just exactly, exactly like you'd see in the books and the films. Mm. Kind of airy, actually. Mm. Yeah, Claire was really up for that. I wanted to go to yeah. Boston, but I knew yeah. Claire wanted to do that, so yeah. we did that. In Cape Cod, I love Cape Cod. Yeah. It was nice. that. It was nice. It was a lovely place. Mm. You go to Boston next time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just like you see on the mm. on the TV and the books. Like mm. you can see the main house where Joe Kennedy lived with his wife. It's just mm. like that is. You, sometimes you have to look in the guides and think, right, that's that. Like, but it was just like it just pinged. Mm. Um, interesting. Mm. Come a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, we went there. Then we sailed round. Went to some. Canadian, we went to Quebec, didn't mm, we? Mm. Uh, and we went to Montreal, went on a very long bus ride to mm. Montreal. Uh, it's a nice day out though, wasn't yeah. it? Um, and then a place called Sanguini. Mm -hmm. Sorry if that's pronounced wrong. Uh, and then somewhere else, I can't remember its name. Can't remember. It was quite, It was a new part, it's the first time they've been in, I think, mm. wasn't it? I think. Um, I can't remember its name off the top of my head. And then we went to, where was it we went to, where we... Nova went, Scotia. Is that where the Titanic... Yeah. Again? We docked where the Carpathia would have docked when put all the bodies. Mm. And we docked on that part, on that port where the bodies would have came off Carpathia mm. from Titanic. And again, that was an eerie place. Mm. The Titanic graveyard was... Mm. The whole of that place, Nova Scotia, was eerie, wasn't it? Mm. You could just like Southampton is in parts as well, but and and where it's it still it's still got that energy to it. Yeah, I I one hundred percent. Um, it's strange how that accident mm. is still rumbling on, even to, even the energy is still there. Mm. Um, yeah, it's. We went to the graveyard, didn't we? Is weird place it, it was disappointing because of all the tourism yeah there. they were just stood on just, the graves yeah. it, even the tour guides were standing on the stone mm. graves mm. I know they said something yeah it was I, 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 I bought to respect graveyards I always try I and believe not that. stand on graves or gravestones or anything like that uh, and I, I found it very difficult yeah where people just taking photos walking over people's graves yeah. and because some of the graves are low down, aren't mm. they? So you can actually, some of them are big, you can see with the rich, mm. you know. Mm. But the, the little ones, little stumpy. Mm. And people, tour guides were stood on them, weren't they? It was yeah. disgusting. Yeah. And people have said, oh, you know, they should build a fence around it. But they got fenced in in the sea. Mm. They don't need to be fenced in in death. Mm. And that's wrong. Mm. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? They're never going to get left in peace, mm. are they? Unfortunately. Mm. Um, I mean, we, we, we were part of it. We mm. went. You we know did sit on graves, though, and... Yeah, but yeah. I think everyone that goes there adds to it. Mm. It's all it's learning, though, isn't it? Mm. Um, and then went to the museum, which had a lot of stuff from there, mm. and even that I had a weird dizzy moment in there. Mm. Do 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 do. <laughs> um, and it's <laughs> yeah, it's, it was. Mm. We well, saw the menu, that the, the food, that the and however little everything was, mm. how little and fragile and mm. yes. yeah. Crazy, wasn't it, really? Mm. And after that, we went back to New York, didn't we? Mm. I think we had another stop. I can't remember what it was uh, now. And then we... We oh. did New York ourselves. Then we got off ship and did ship. 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 <laughs> ship. We got off ship and did it ourselves. Yeah, we just we? got a shuttle, didn't we, into yeah. New York. Um, yeah. We were going to get a taxi, but we, we bottled it, didn't we, and just got yeah. a shuttle. Um, and then just had a wander around New York, mm. got us lost. Yeah. Probably nearly end up in Harlem. Um, you know when you start getting the dodge, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to die here. I just knew it. I, Titanic Sea didn't get me. This is going to get me. And it was, yeah. And I just said, Carrie, I'm not, there's something not right here. Yeah, I'll right. walk it wrong way, won't I? And, you know. So easy to Gotham, get turned around. here we come. <laughs> <laughs> it was so easy to get turned around, though. Mm. And phones weren't as good back then. Um, for the maps and stuff. Mm. So yeah, I got us a little bit lost. Yeah, we came back on. We came back on track. We went past Madison, Madison Square Garden. Yeah, we went past Madison. Madison. So that was good. We went the wrong way, but ended up going past Madison mm. Square Garden. Uh, mm. We went up the Empire State, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and then just went to Times Square. Mm -hmm. uh, which I don't think we did. Can't remember going on that tour unless we drove past mm. it. 
Um, so I had a wander around there, went to McDonald's. Yeah, well, facet in me, I'm a bit of a dipstick when I'm abroad. It's like, whoa, this is a McDonald's in New York, like looking at like, like it were gold. It was mm. just bizarre, wasn't it? Yeah, McDonald's at uh, Times Square, wasn't it? Yeah. Because, <laughs> um, oh yeah, the first time we went down with a tour guide, I had a burger then. Mm. And then, yeah, I had a McDonald's, didn't we? Mm. I'm sure there's other more New York food we could have yes, gone Yes, definitely. But... Proper tourists. <laughs> Tourists. Safe we've, tourists. Got to try, we've got to try a McDonald's in America. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it was. I didn't want the same. It wasn't, was it? It, it tasted different. I could think the shops got me. We went into a chemist and it was like weird because the different names mm. are different. It was just surreal, really. Mm. It was, yeah. wasn't it? But I suppose you'll feel the same when you come over here. It's... If, if we work with some painkillers or something, mm. we, couldn't, we couldn't work out what to buy because mm. it were all different mm. stuff. And it's like, oh, I'm sure this is banned in England. <laughs> <laughs> you can you, you should get it off a, ca off a shelf in America. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, it's very strange. Um, yeah, it was, it was interesting. We, we said we'd like to do it again at some mm. point or something similar. Yeah. Um, it was a treat, wasn't it? It was very um, expensive uh, yeah. for four, four, four week cruise. It was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. Was definitely it. And worth you it. think some brides spend up to th twenty, thirty thousand pounds for a wedding, mm. and that's it. Come to that, no. even with that honeymoon. So we no. kind of said, although we had a nice wedding, we didn't have the big posh church. We had a local church. Mm. We had a simple service. We had two simple cars. Mm. Um, flowers, it was all simple. The wedding dress was lovely, but it was mm. simple. Mm. Um, everything was just right. Buffet, mm. hall. It's doable, isn't it? Yeah, it's doable. You, you know, you mm. don't have to have it spangly. Mm. You know what I mean? It depends what you want out of mm. our life, isn't it? If you want to bury yourself in debt yeah. just for one day. Yeah. Um, or you can, you know, have a reasonably nice wedding for mm. a reasonable budget. And then go on a four week honeymoon yeah. for the same month. Well, probably yeah. like even it was still less money, wasn't it, mm. than than hiring a big hall. Mm. And then when we're if you, you hire a really big place, you can't invite as many people. No. So you end, end up having to have an argument of who's coming, who's not right. going, who's not coming. You know what I mean? We had that many people, didn't we? That there were no chairs left, <laughs> and people having to sit on the top table. Well, it wasn't a top table; it was like a top balcony. Mm. But it was good, though. It wasn't was it? all right. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, and then we came back, didn't we? We came back to Morley. Mm. And then obviously I started to rethink my career mm -hmm. and started to do... Because I was going to go into uh, makeup and nails. Because mm. that's just where I got pulled to. Um, did a few online courses, but then I gradually started to get... And I, then I started, was going to set up a day spa, which I did. Mm. We moved to Cross Gates and we set up a day spa. I did all like massage training, facial training. I got the hot tub, doing mm. afternoon teas. Um, it was ticking over, it was okay, but I always felt there was something else I was meant to be doing and then I started doing other training, mm. Reiki, Shmanic Healing, um, the regions crept in and it just changed. Mm. And then obviously Covid came and then mm. obviously that went <laughs> yeah. overnight and I just went online and I started, because I actually had a phobia of talking on camera. Mm. It was a real problem for me because I know when I used to go for my own mentoring, it would always come up that a lot of the people that do what I do now, mm. they succeed via video work. So it's video work is a way forward. Um, and I was like, there's no way I can ever speak on camera now. Look at me, I don't shut up. Three platforms, <laughs> TikTok, Instagram. Yeah, and it was me that persuaded you, mm. wasn't it? I said, there's nothing, because she was concerned with her voice. Mm. Uh, her voice wasn't right or whatever. Mm. And I said, there's no problem, just do it. And, mm. and you practised, didn't you, a yeah. few times. And, and you know, I couldn't stop her in the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she off. Yeah, and I did videos every single day through that pandemic, mm. didn't I? On the, and I've often said this, when the world went still, mm. I threw myself into changing and, and, mm. and changing the... I wasn't even intentionally changing the business. It was just, I don't mm. know. And every single day I went on YouTube. Yeah. Um, and it was a slog. It was yeah. it was hard, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because when, when you're starting a channel from scratch... There's so much to learn. and mm. Which I've deleted all that old content because there was a lot. Oh, mm. and it... You know, when you're practicing and because it was the pandemic, there was nothing to do but practice YouTube. Mm. So it wasn't like a lot of YouTubers will keep the, a few of their old ones on. Mm. 
But there was just that many, it was just like... Mm. Um, but like the first ones I'd like sit up a camera and be like that with a camera. <laughs> just, just, just filming, just filming me. Just, you know, some, of the, some of the followers that we've got in the past had loved that. Mm. But I just like a poke a card out, hello. Um, but that's how you start, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, definitely, mm. yeah. yeah. And then obviously when the pandemic was over, I didn't actually want to go back to what I was doing. Um, and I opened up again, didn't I? But mm. then I just, I just said, I don't want to do what I want to do. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't, nothing never really came, happened, did it? It didn't come back, back it just did didn't it? come back. It didn't come back. Um, I don't think your heart was in it either. I think you'd no, start, you'd I, start something that you loved doing. Mm. Uh, and you just wanted to continue doing that. Mm. And it was working out how, how yeah. best to do that, really. And there were so many rules about, you know, having to wear visors and masks, mm. shields, um, gown, gloves. Mm. And to me, that's not that's not what you go to a spa for. And I thought, I can't do it. Mm. And then there was, so, because you're such a little business, mm. you have no protection. And they were so strict. It was like, this is just a nightmare. Like gel everywhere. Mm. Gel of the way in, gel on the way out, gel the toilet, change it. It was just ridiculous. So mm. it was just like, this is just, it didn't come back, did it? No, no, we had to, we had to, we had to nix it mm. in the end. And I'm glad I did. And then, you know, fuel prices were starting to creep up as mm. well, weren't they? Um, and so that hot tub, it didn't half train the electricity. Mm. And we were, it were going up and up and up and up and up and up. You turned it off it? in the end. Yeah. But that's when I decided that I'd had enough of my job, didn't yeah. I? And decided I need to do something. Because Claire had done something with her life and turned yeah. it around. Mm. And it was kind of, and it was starting to succeed, wasn't it? Mm. Um, and so it was my turn there. Yeah. And we, we, we moved, didn't we? We took a leap of faith. Didn't yeah, we? I took a leap of faith. So I managed to um, get what at the time was a dream job, uh, pay cut, but it was a dream job to do, get away from what I was doing, mm. um, which was contracted slog. Yeah. And I just completely had enough of it. Um, but it meant having to move. Yeah. Um, so we discussed it I said well, there's no point me applying for these jobs if we're not willing to move uh, and we decided yes we yeah. are I just said yeah do it and I just gave up hot tub everything just because that's how it works yeah and, I, and I'll tell you also a lot of people I meet a lot of people that want to take that leap of faith to walk away from a job mm. and like when I did it you were there to support me and then when you did it what happened my business went from tick tick because actually, when the, so we've ended up where we're at a place where we were. Mm. Well, so better, see, well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We, we, you know, I took a massive pay cut. Yeah. And and, and your business has, has, has more than mm. um, succeeded in mm. covering that because mm. it was a bit of a worry after we'd moved yeah. for a bit that it might be a struggle. We had to take, make a few yeah. cutbacks. Yeah. Didn't but we? It, you can make it work, and you'd mm. be surprised at how things do work out. There is never a right time to leave a job. No. There is never a right time to have a baby. There is never a right time to move house. You've got to make the right time in your actions and mm. you'll be surprised at how it all, with faith and patience and due diligence, slips into place. Mm. And you can do it. Money, billions of people have done it before. Because I know a lot of people at the minute are struggling in jobs. And, mm. make it, and that leap of faith can be terrifying, especially if you're in an institution like I was. Well, where I was it, as yeah. well. I've been there for... 15 years in the same job mm. at the same company mm. working with the same people and you you, you do get into, and it is scary mm. but Claire had done something a lad at work mm. had done something similar as mm. well he just left and he put me on to potentially going where I am now mm. um, and that's where I started he, he, he had his last day and he left and somebody else took over on the job I was working mm. on and it was a slow job so I started filling out application forms there mm. and then. Um, and just went for it and never looked back. Mm. Um, and it's been amazing. We love it here. Mm. Um, downsized his house. Yeah, went um, from a, like a pre-World War Two semi-bay windows, lots of land around it, mm. for room for extension. It was just too much and too big and too near. Yeah, it was too big for just us too, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, needed attention to repairs mm. and stuff. So to a two-bedroomed... Detached bungalow, yeah, it's, it's but it's nice, much, yeah. much nicer, yeah. and I actually like it. Yeah, I do like it. And you know, the city's close by, but we're not mm. in the city like we mm. were in Leeds. Um, 
we're, we're, we're out in a little village just on the outskirts and it's we're just surrounded by countryside mm. it's amazing mm. but then we're still only 15 minutes mm. from the centre of Lincoln mm. so or oh, 15 mm. minutes from anywhere really mm. <laughs> yeah. so it's all really good so we've had a really 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 good time of it because mm. life is full of leaps of faith and I think you've got to take mm. them Otherwise, that's how we end up stuck. Mm. I think that's how we end up ill and despondent and down. Mm. Um, you've got to take those leaps of faith. Mm. Definitely. And don't be afraid as well to do things your own way as well, because that's a big thing that's coming up mm. at the minute. Needing to break out of those old moulds, mm. your own moulds, mm. family moulds. Don't be afraid to fail as well, because Claire's mm. first business failed. Mm. It did fail. Mm. Terribly. Uh, terribly, <laughs> we, you know. We, but we, it was, thank God. Mm. Because actually, if it had been succeeded, I couldn't have probably moved from there because my no. clientele had been there. Yeah, exactly. Um, it was it was it was destined mm. to fail, mm. uh, and potentially we lost mm. a bit of money on it. But mm. luckily, we managed to sell the house at a good mm. price, and it kind of brought us came back, back on. It came back, didn't it? When we sold the house, we managed to get a, a reasonable price for it mm. and sell the hot tub along with it, um, mm. and use it as a bit of a bargaining chip. Yeah, um, which was good. Um, and we moved downsized. Link mm. the houses were a little bit cheaper mm. in Lincoln, um, not much cheaper, but a little bit mm. cheaper. We managed to get this house and be able to invest a bit of money in it mm. and get it to what we want and mm. get some nice new furniture and stuff like that. So mm. it was yeah. good. But it's true. Don't be afraid because you will fail. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. You know, there's always issues with business where you do things that sometimes work, then stop working. But you've got to pull yourself up from that and go forward. Mm. Read the room with it, constantly read the room with it. And, and, and don't be afraid to say, oh, that didn't work out. Let's try again. Because mm. actually that's the normal flow of life. It's not normal to just stay. Um, it's, yeah, don't be afraid of failing, get, getting it wrong. Because actually there isn't getting it wrong, is there? It's just no. lessons. It's just teaching. Mm. Um Mm. And hopefully the next step is to make this as a day job, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Imagine that. God, you, you see, comment like that will pe make people think that I'm... Because this is what happened the other day. I just what? said something random and I said, oh, something about doing some stuff on the um, political readings. And somebody actually thought I meant that I was going to set up a separate YouTube channel. And it wasn't mm. the political readings. I'm not. <laughs> I've got three. You watch me do that. I'm only joking. <laughs> Um, no. No, I think three is enough. Three yeah. is the magic number. Yeah. The magic number. Yes, yeah. it is. Three YouTube channels is enough. Yeah. And is it Anatta? That's maybe Anatta coming to a close. Mm -hmm. So, as a future Natta, we've got two future plans for Anatta, haven't we? I think so, yeah. We've got a Charles and Kimberly discussion. That's going to be interesting because I have had a journey. <laughs> Gary's like, oh, God, Gary'll just be sat there listening. Uh, and then we'll... Try not to put my foot in it, as yeah. usual. Yes. And then we're going to be doing about after the wedding and about not having children, about how we've made changes for that. And now yeah. we've actually turned it into a positive. Mm. Um, not having children can actually be the greatest gift, mm. as well as having children can be the greatest yeah. gift. I also think not having them can be the greatest gift. It's whatever's meant to be, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. and you've got to make, you've got to, what is it? When the world gives you lemons, make lemonade. Yeah. And, and turn it into something positive. Mm. But I'll be discussing that, well, we will be discussing that in, <laughs> in the next video. Yep, so um, we'll put, I'll, I'll see if I can dig out some photos mm. and maybe put a little bit of a monologue. Monologue? Mm. What's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... I don't know. Monologue's talking, isn't it? Yeah, what would it um, mean? Picture show. I don't know. I know what you mean. You know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Yep. Um, comment if you like this video. When you got to the end, you want to leave a comment. You don't know what to say. You can leave an engagement ring, a love heart, a church, mm -hmm. and or a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, yeah. Yeah. So pick your, you pick your emojis, <laughs> like, comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye. So long.